All right, kids, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Ellis! Start with what I thought we'd do is we go over our song one more time, because everything we need to know is going to be in that. So continuing with astronomy and the Big Bang. smallest dot as you can. Now, no matter how hard you try and how small a dot you draw, it will never be smaller than the start of the universe. So, um, let's watch this video on Stephen Hawking because I want to talk a little bit about the Big Bang and how it happened. Hey, 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 hey. into matter. The original matter, of course, being atoms. So we're going to start here with atoms. I want you to draw a lot of energy expanding in all directions from that point. all these numbers all the way through. I want you to go two through five on your own. It looks good in one replay. Oh no. Fly straight and so fast. Yeah, I know it. Number three says grab the V for velocity and pull it back to the earth. Decrease velocity, press play and observe. So play around with the velocity. You want to press pause first there, Julia. It is showing the blue arrows for gravity and, and red for velocity. You don't need to understand. Gravity pulls things together. Together. So watch what happens. I press the start button. Watch. <laughs> Almost instantaneously. What do they do? They draw towards each other, right? This video. So check this out. Please. As these atoms come together, they start to bump into each other, right? Can you shake your hands, please? Come like this. And rub me a little really fast. Rub me a little really fast. Real fast. Your hands start to get hot, right? Put your hands in face. Put your hands in face. Okay. Real hot, right? We feel that. We feel that heat. So here's what I want you to realize. When you take these atoms and you bring them together with gravity and they start bumping into each other real, real fast, more and more and more because they get more and more energy from that gravity, eventually they're going to catch on fire. fire. And does anybody know what was fire. made when all of these atoms came together and did that? Fire. Stars? Stars. We know what is one A. Star explodes. And they release all their guts out everywhere into space. But they can also form planets. So we're going to understand the timeline here by creating an interpretive dance. Okay? Think of it as a movement if you don't prefer dancing. But you're going to do something here with your bodies to represent the Big Bang from the beginning to the end. So you're gonna do, I'm excited to see what you got, and so let's get practicing. Hey guys, so here's how it's gonna work. Now that we practice our um, dance, we're gonna do is we're performing here um, at Ellis Theater. Hey, hey, hey. 